Today we are going to discuss homonyms, homographs, homophones, and polysemes. Homonyms Homonyms are words that share the same spelling, but can have two different meanings. The English language is filled with such words well, bat, shed, treat, fair, etc. This can be difficult for the learner of English to learn new vocabulary. This is because when they look up words in a dictionary they will normally choose the first explanation. You can use humor to teach homonyms. One example would be the word treat. I got a treat today from the doctor. He treated me to a sweet operation. The word treat has two meanings, a piece of candy or a surprise. In this case, a treat would be a surprise. A sweet operation would be an operation that was very beneficial. Another way of stopping confusion is by giving vocabulary words, with their meanings, at the beginning of the week in order for the students to study and remember the words. Students won't look up the words and discover the wrong meaning while they are trying to study. Homophones Unlike homonyms, homophones are two words that are spelled differently, but pronounced the same way. A key way to remember what homophones are is the word phone. Think of phonics and that means sound. Homophones, same sound. Examples of these would be steak slash steak, meat slash meat and time slash time. Homographs. Homographs or heteronyms are words that are spelled the same, pronounced differently and have different meanings. The key to remember is graph means writing. Same writing. Examples of these would be Does a performance in doe a deer, a female deer, plural. To bow, to lean forward, and tie a bow, a ribbon. Through practice of speaking and knowledge of writing these words become easier to learn. Polysemes Another grouping that causes great confusion to new learners of English are the polysemes, which are words that have the same spelling but numerous related meanings when put into context. Unlike homographs they are not necessarily pronounced differently. Let's look at the word record. If you looked up the word record in a dictionary and read the first example it may be a plastic thing you listen to music from. However, if you look at the different meanings then you will understand what a student might think when reading a sentence and reading only the first explanation from a dictionary. I hold the high school record for the long jump. I am the best at something. You need to record this. You need to tape this, this has a different pronunciation. I went to the Hall of Records. A place where public documents are kept. I own an Alice Cooper record. The plastic disc that plays music. If you look up the world record for the first example, you may think it literally means to have a record in your hands. However, trying to convey the meaning that someone can hold a record while it's intangible is inconceivable. To stop confusion, each meaning should be taught individually and explained when you give examples. Only explain the meanings of the most relevant meaning at the time it is taught. To sum it up, homophones are words that sound the same but are different in meaning or spelling. Homographs are spelled the same, but differ in meaning or pronunciation. Homonyms can be either or even both. To help remember, think of the etymology, homophones have the same sound, the Greek phonos, homographs have the same spelling, Greek graphian, and homonym comes from the Greek word meaning, name, onoma. And polysemes have the same spelling, different emphasis on parts of the word which makes the word mean something else. Well that is all the time we have for today. I hope to see you next time.